The big question for today is whether Conservative MPs feel that this is now the time for the Prime Minister to go, that this is so damaging that he should not lead the party into the next election. And while the received wisdom has been that we've now heard a lot of this, that the Prime Minister is probably safe for now, I think it's important to remember that there are a lot of Conservative MPs, there are 360-odd Conservative MPs, who we don't hear from, who have been saying that they are reserving judgment until they see the full extent of this. What happened? Happened and what were the leadership and judgment failures that Sue Gray talked about in her interim report and how much the Prime Minister was personally responsible. And you, you do hear that from Conservative MPs and Alistair Campbell articulated a bit of that this morning. This is what he told us. Have these people got any self-respect whatsoever? Do they not go home to wives and husbands and kids who say to them, I'm sorry, you cannot defend the indefensible any longer? So it was wait for the police. It turned out he broke the law. And then it was wait for Sue Gray. And they say, well, whatever Sue Gray says, as you've just said, we know the story anyway. The Metropolitan Police have got a lot of questions to answer about the extent to which they investigated this properly. And also, Kay, the one fine is enough to sink this guy because he insisted, quotes, there were no parties. We know he was at them. Look, the trickiest bit of this, Kay, is to explain why the Prime Minister stood there in Parliament and said there were no parties and all the guidance was followed, when even if he was only found to have broken the law once, that clearly wasn't the case in a lot of these gatherings which he appears to have witnessed. That's going to be tricky. I expect he'll also talk about some of the changes he's already made to personnel and the structure of Number 10. But I think the big question today, undoubtedly it's going to be tough, undoubtedly it's going to be damaging, is this one tough day or is there a longer hangover from this or whether the Prime Minister can with the help, perhaps, of a cost-of-living package we expect later in this week, later this week, uh, recover some of his lost authority.